Hey guys and welcome to Vlogmas, officially Vlogmas day number five. But life happened and also my critical sense happened. Today's Wednesday and I was editing snippets from Sunday and I was just like, oh, it's gonna be so boring. I really don't look well today. I did my makeup like in such a hurry. I, I have to run out in five minutes. I figured I'd sit down because I'm planning to combine all of those days together. This vlog is probably gonna be a very long one. So what has happened the past days? On Sunday, I had a day where I cleaned the house. That's not a very eventful day. I sat down to talk to you guys, but then oh, I can just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. I was snoozing by the time I was finished with my editing. By the way, those sounds that you hear, that is not me farting, that's the couch, okay? <laughs> just so you know. So on Sunday, I cleaned the house tidied up everything. I love to hit a new week with a clean house, which normally gets destroyed on a Monday, but that's fine. On Monday, I went to Paris with one of my stepdaughters. Here's the tea. I have two stepdaughters and they are both closer to age to me than I am to my boyfriend. <gasps> we are modern family. It can be weird for you, but for us and probably a lot of other viewers, it's probably normal. I'm sure plenty of you are in a similar situation. They are not older than me though. It's not that weird. <laughs> Although if you are in a situation where your stepkids are somehow older than you, that's fine. If you love someone, there is no age limit. There is, that's that. Now I went to Paris with one of them and it was really a lot of fun. I have never properly visited Paris and Monday was not one of those days either, but we walked a lot, we window shopped, we crossed things of our lists. That's the best feeling ever. Because <laughs> if you have like a wish list of some kind, you know, luxury and other things combined, <clears throat> we all know that rush that goes through us where you're like, okay, need to save a lot of money to get everything. And then, you know, once you see something in real life and you're like, oh, it's actually pretty crappy. We went through all the Celine stores. We went pretty much through all the luxury stores. We were really, really interested in Celine. First, we went there for the Goyard. I did mention that in my Saturday vlog. And we really, really wanted to get something from there. <sighs> did we or did we not? Well, we didn't. And I, th I, I just thought I'll get something that I'm really gonna use now. I feel Goyard is more of a summer bag anywho. And if I am to get it anywhere down the line, I probably would wanna get it somewhere on a vacation. So somewhere, I don't know, maybe Singapore. But that's not really a bag that I'm I feel it's quite pricey, but I really loved your comments, guys. I love somebody saying, well, if you just accept the fact and you know that it's a very overpriced grocery bag, then go for it. I, thanks, that was hilarious. And thank you guys so much for your tips. You definitely opened my eyes on a few other bags, perhaps. And um, yeah, but I love the look of the Goyar bag, but this is not something for me at this moment. We did get something else though, and I think that's a lot better investment. <laughs> Yesterday I had a calm day. I hung out with one of my friends who just moved, helped her out a little bit, and just kind of touched base on what is good and pure in this life, uh, which is, you know, friends and relationships. That's what it boils down to. And then because I had slacked off the whole day, I had to catch up with so many things in the evening. I had so much work to do that by the time my head hit the pillow, I just fell asleep. Like I, I'm still sleep deprived. I've had like a couple of really bad nights and I'm old. I can't take bad nights anymore. So I need to kind of recuperate. Then yesterday I attempted to vlog from my car, tell you about what was going on. I showed you what I bought from Paris. But then, as I said, I was editing last night and I was like, oh, that's gonna be so confusing. Also, <laughs> uploading a vlog like four days later, it's 
not gonna work. But I knew getting into this, I knew that it was not going to be all just super smooth. But the days that I actually don't have anything in the evenings, I will be able to edit and upload. So you will have some kind of a regimen come in, you know, not that you'd care, who cares? Who cares about my vlogs? But thank you for those of you who are really supportive. It really motivates me and I, this is the first time I'm doing it. So I'm gonna try and really figure out how to make it useful for you as well. And I'm thinking I will kind of switch up between, um, well, I kicked off with a luxury insert on Saturday and then today will be just like a long vlog. <laughs> And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of maybe makeup tips and also uh, maybe some. I don't, want, I don't want to say life advice as if I'm kind of like Oprah, but um, maybe just some story times or some lessons I've learned because I love to listen to that sometimes, not always, <laughs> sometimes, or you know just shit you've been through and how it has how you got through this because there are sometimes easier ways than you think to get over something major what am i doing now anywho if you have anything that you specifically want to see from me or you have some i don't know you have some you want to debate about a bag that came out that's super ugly but you're falling in love with it just just hit it down in the comments and let me know what i can make you happy with Wednesdays are really weird days in Belgium, by the way. They, it's like you drop off your kids to school for three hours and then you pick them up again. It's weird. They're probably wanting to promote kids doing, you know, out of school activities and stuff like that. But I personally feel it's just, it's so much work for just like three hours of school. But it is what it is. So I have a whole day. Um, we're gonna meet Saint Nick. We're gonna eat some pancakes. We're gonna come home. Um, and play around. I don't think I have much to vlog today anymore. It won't be very interesting for you guys. I am just gonna leave it at that and I'm going to pick up my camera first thing in the morning tomorrow so that I'll be back on track again. Voila! Thank you guys so much for your support. I really really appreciate it and now I'm seeing that this curtain has been like this forever and it's really pissing me off. Why didn't I? Why didn't I feel like this? Whatever. Life's not perfect, and I. That's something else. I'm definitely gonna try and do vlogs and just. When I'm filming on YouTube in general, I'm not going to be the neat cookie cutter type who's like, "Hello, good morning. Everything is so perfect. The life is so good, and everything's just like." I'm also not gonna be one who's gonna post a thumbnail crying, be like, "Life sucks," or like worst day of my life and have something very uneventful happen to me i'm just gonna show you my life as it is i've taken the decision to do that i'm really freaking out because there are so many people finding out about my channel so many people that i know or you know like i was able to keep it a secret for quite some time and now people are really finding it out and i feel very self well i had like a real dip in in august september beginning of October and I felt really self-conscious and was like oh my god everybody's finding me everybody thinks I'm weird and then you know I know perfectly well I cannot please everybody it's just it freaks you out when actually real people can get a glimpse well, not real people but like people in your entourage can get a glimpse of your life now I've kind of come to terms with this if you hate me, you don't need to watch this video. If you know me, then you will know what I'm about, that I'm not all about luxury, that I'm not all about superficial things. If you think I am, that's your prerogative. <clears throat> what was that? What was that? Oh my God. <clears throat> <clears throat> On that very feminine note, I'm going to, oh, what just happened? That is not gonna be a flu. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. I'm gonna leave you now and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.